Yeah. So in my own work experience, I've seen kind of a growing disconnection between engineers or data scientists, like the tech folks, the way they think about a solution and the way that a bit, the business stakeholders might think about a solution. I think there are a lot of non-technical folks out there that kind of pride themselves on their people skills and pride themselves on their ability to like pitch product and communicate effectively. But do you think we'll get to a point as these solutions become more complicated where non-technical people, the business stakeholders are going to need to learn more about data scientists or need to learn a little bit of code or something like that, just so everyone is living in the same universe and using the same language. I think as a data scientist, you are the bridge between the business folk and the technical people. That's why data scientists are so valuable. You have mm -hmm. to have the duality mindset where you can understand a business problem, a business situation, and then turn around and translate that into a quantitative problem, into a data science problem, and work with the technical people to come up with the solution that satisfies the business need, right? So as a data scientist, you have this duality mindset, at least if you hope to be a successful data scientist. If you're just a data scientist that is just focused entirely on technical stuff, you probably won't get past the individual contributor level. You might be a high level individual contributor, but you'll max out there. Um, so data scientists definitely have to have that duality man mindset connecting business and, and technical people together. Now, in terms of just the general public learning any type of tech skills, like definitely you're only going to benefit from that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The other cool thing about it is that you have to do a lot more with less. You have to be able to like really communicate the simplest possible explanation when you're when you're the middleman or you know the data scientist which is pretty cool yeah the challenge is trying to i mean you have to use analogies i think that's probably the best way to do it like anytime i communicate with somebody my goal is hopefully to especially in a business setting is that i want the person to feel smart after i talk to them not because it's like, oh my God, he's so smart, but I want them to feel like, oh my God, yes, I understand it so much. I could even be a data scientist. Mm. Right? So that's kind of the approach you have to have. I mean, to be successful really, right? Like if, if you can't communicate your ideas in such a way that anybody can understand them, then what's the point of, of you know, doing yeah, right. Doing, right? Like it's not going to get used, right? Like right. If, if nobody understands what it is that you're doing, nobody's going to want to use it. And you found analogy and like metaphor to be a pretty powerful way to get there. Yeah. Or just trying to lead them down a train of thought, right. Using some language devices like, Oh, think of it this way, or look at it from this perspective or imagine this, right. Like trying to get them to understand. I mean, it, it's hard and it takes a lot of, a lot yeah. of effort. So usually like anytime I have a meeting with, any stakeholders, I will spend maybe a half a day before that meeting just going over everything that I plan on saying and stripping away every technical detail, but periodically oh. pausing while I'm giving that explanation. Like, if you need more detail, let me know. I can unhide slides and get right into it, right? So, you don't want to talk to people like they're dumb, obviously, but you want to talk to them in such a way that you want them to feel smarter and understand what you're doing because that's how you get by. Him. <laughs>